This is the UR18D ultrasonic distance measuring sensor from Baumer. Operating principle based on the pulse echo technique, the measured distance value is an analog output signal. This sensor can be taught in the first five minutes when it is powered up. After that, it locks to prevent operators to change its settings. The sensor can be taught when the blue light is present. After these five minutes, the blue LED switches off. You teach the sensor by using a ferromagnetic tool, a hex key, a screwdriver, a spanner. This sensor has two levels to teach. Level one is a two-point teach. Level three is factory reset. Level two is not used in this design. To teach the sensor, we go into teach level one. We are reaching level one by using QTeach for two seconds. After two seconds, the sensor's LEDs flash slowly, indicating that the sensor is now ready to be taught. We now want to teach the sensor to measure the distance against the object between 20 centimeters and 12 centimeters. We leave the target at 12 centimeters, confirm that distance by QTeach. Sensor now requesting the second end of the measuring range. We go to 20 centimeters. We confirm that again by QTeach. And after a short while, sensor is back into running mode. And the sensor's output will now provide a 10 volt output at 20 centimeters distance. And when we move closer to the sensor, all the way down to 12, which is the close limit of the range we've chosen, the sensor's output is zero. There might be applications requiring an inverted output signal. Let me demonstrate how you invert the output signal on this sensor. For doing this, we go into level one again. Sensor starts to flash, but what we do differently now is we teach the far end 20 centimeters first. Confirm, move the target to 12 centimeters, so the same range as before. Confirm, sends us back in the running mode. And what you will see now on the display is 10 volts at close range, zero volts at far range. So always the first point you teach will be zero, will be low. The second point you teach will be high. In this way, you can easily change the direction of the output slope. Now let's attempt to set this sensor back into its factory default settings. We do that by using QTeach again, and we have to go into level three. We go past level one, past level two, and once in level three, we just have to remove the tool and the sensor has been successfully set back into factory settings.